Hey guys, what's going on? MadGary222 here with another Duelist Network video. I'm facing Drillinix, I think his name's pronounced. Uh, yeah, I'm using my Blue Eyes deck here again. Um, this is the beginning of the duel. Uh, in advance, I want to apologize. There are some choppy parts in this video, uh, and a lot of lag, actually. The lag is due to... Uh, I don't know if I actually have the private chat pop up or anything during the duel, but a kid was uh, messaging me for a while, and actually I was even contemplating not making the video, well, the second video of the day uh, for up here, but, um, you know, the show must go on or whatever, and I really want to put out another video. Uh, as you can see from the beginnings of this duel, I had already gotten a Red Eyes Black Dragon out and had placed my Meridrin... I apologize on that, uh, but yeah, I end up using Ancient Rule to get him out. He uses a Lady of D, which the effect is you can discard a card to uh, not be destroyed, you know, have Lady of D destroyed. As you can see, this Jar of Greed comes in. Well, I at least put my mouse on the card over a dozen times within this duel, because the whole time I'm just itching to use it, and it comes up later on in a plan I try to establish. But, um, yeah, uh, Drolinux ends up dominating, well, that's a spoiler, he ends up dominating uh, most of the duel. He uses that uh, magic card back there to, uh, you know, I draw two cards, he gets to bring back his armor dragon level 7, and then he uses this effect to take away my uh, red eyes. He ends up getting stumped here, at least, where I get a red eyes out, but I think he destroyed, or not a red eyes, a blue eyes. Yeah, I get a blue eyes out into my deck, but, um, I don't think it does the job. Uh, no, it doesn't do the job, actually. It gets destroyed at some point, but let, let's let that play out. So, he attacks into the, uh, he attacks into the card, I get a blue eyes special sign. His turn's not yet over. Okay, it's on to my turn now, and, um, I set down my, uh, Flame, I was thinking about putting down the Magician, but I put down Flame Valguard in defense position and all. Uh, the Magician of, the Magician of Faith comes into play later on in a plan after this play right here where I end up losing my blue eyes to that, um, you know, uh, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm really messing up with the names right now. I've been playing for a few hours, and of course the uh, story I was just mentioning before with the guy in the chat and all. It's not popping up right now. I think he's in the middle of a duel. I'm not really sure. I didn't really care, honestly. But uh, yeah, his uh, Lady of D attacks into my uh, Flame Drill guard, which ends up you know, taking a few of his life points. That's the beginning. This whole duel wasn't exactly just instantly destruction like the second duel that I had put up the you know the first one today but um he re I really started to dig in here this was a big play I think throughout the whole duel it's not the biggest but it's one of the bigger ones it does take out a lot of life points with that magic cylinder and a uh, flame veil uh, combination excuse me if I'm butchering names of course not the best at pronunciating but you know, I try. So, uh, he discards a card. He uses the effect to destroy the, uh, Flame Veal Guard. Which was alright with me. Well, it's actually back just a little bit. Or at least put me in a real corner for this next play coming up. But, uh, you know, I ended up working my way out of it. So... I'm reading an effect right now. I actually just started reading it again. Because, uh, you know, I'm watching the gameplay, commentating. You guys, uh, commentating works so all. You all know Gary if you've been watching these videos for the last couple years now. Well, not. Really. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to set my Magician of Faith, I think. Or I might summon the. Uh, I don't summon the Blizzard Dragon yet. Yeah, I'm going to set my Magician of Faith. And I'm going to end my turn. You know, I'm trying to work for. I believe the plan was to get the ancient rules back and then use the, um, when it comes up on the name, I'll tell it, but, um, 
yeah, I bring back my ancient rules. You know, the effect that I knew I was going to take damage at this point. Like, I just knew it because there was nothing to defend myself. Even you could see it right now. Just empty field, taking some damage, you know, right to the face even. Took that from Asian Eyes. Uh, if you guys watch his channel, if you don't want to go and recommend it, you know, he's kind of one of my inspirations to start these videos up and stuff. Uh, Alright, so he tributes the uh, one armored dragon, I think level 5, to get another level 7. This is where I was. I just thought the duel was done at this point. You know, I'm down a little bit, and then that Swords Are Revealing Light. The Swords Are Revealing Light was just the saving grace of this duel. So I can bring out that Blizzard Dragon, attack his Lady of D, use the effect. It takes maybe two plays to get rid of that Lady of D, but I end up destroying it. I know that. And once the Lady of D was gone, just a big setup coming up in a few seconds. As you can see, the ancient rules there, and my, uh, I'm just going to call it the Blue Eyes Tuner, because it helps you get a Blue Eyes into your, uh, that will from your deck into your hand. So he goes into his next turn. He's using our effect, which is to, uh... Okay, uses the uh, effect to discard and keep her, and then I use mine, which is, uh... I can choose one monster out in the field, and it has to stay in that battle position, so I chose Lady of D, of course. There's a few second pause, I believe. There might be even breaking within the next few seconds because I had to, you know, cut big amounts because this duel was originally about 11 minutes. You can even see in the play clock up there uh, on the bandy cam, or the bandy recorder as I like to call it, which, uh, you know, there, uh, I think you could see it. His name was, uh, I'm not this sure the exact name. I know it has champion in it there. Uh, you know, me and him got in an argument about some stuff. Again, you know, whatever. I set my uh, dragon tuner. I'm waiting for him to finish his turn. I believe this is a quick one. I, yeah, he sets and then he ends his turn. You know, can't bring back that Lady of D card the next turn. And then I bring out my uh, X Dragon Eye. This is the twist I find. I'm not 100% sure. But I know this was a big impact, or a big impactful play. I thought I was losing the duel here because he uses that. Um, again, it's just getting me right now. Uh, either way, he destroys my attack position monsters. You know, gets another turn. He's one more turn left. This is his last turn with the swords. And I believe the next play if I'm not mistaken, is one of the biggest plays. Oh, just cut the black here. Hey, sorry about that. Um, yeah, there might be a little break in the video right now. Uh, during one of the cuts that I did, because there's a long pause, uh, I think this is actually part of the long pause, actually. Ah, excuse me there. With all them actuallys. But yeah, this was a big pause in the duel. Uh, you know, he sets a card after that big play, got rid of my monsters, just go right in with that ancient rule, bring in another blue eye, well, yeah, my second blue eyes into this duel. I believe I attack his Lady of D, or no, I attack his, attack his Lady of D, because he ends up telling me the Lady of D effect, which I ended up forgetting about. You know, she's still under the effect where it couldn't have went to defense mode because of the monster that she, uh, he had just destroyed. Thank God I had called it before. I didn't want to get called up on any technicalities. Uh, the sorry there, it's not a sorry that I destroyed this monster. Of course, it's a sorry that I misunderstood the rule. Well, at least the ruling. One thing I didn't understand was he didn't use the one effect. He didn't use the dragon effect to destroy my blue eyes. Yes, I had my tuner there, but that was one of the biggest downfalls, because he could have got rid of my blue eyes and got rid of my tuner. This, this was just, I don't think, no, it wasn't this play. Within the next few plays, you'll see, it's just the icing on the cake of this duel.